Welcome to our channel. We are here to talk about a certain topic that is mostly asked recently. Ang tanong na okay ba itong power supply na to? And alam ko marami sa inyo mga kaibigan ang nagtatanong din sa inyo or kayo din mismo is nagtatanong sa inyo mga kaibigan, okay ba itong power supply na to? Then you will show the brand or you will show the product or you will link yung mismong uh, item. Problem is, kadalasan sa mga ito are not really advertised as they are. Most of them, you may call it fake. Fake power supplies. Sobrang nagkalat na recently, alam natin that there are generic power supplies, there are certified power supplies, pero there are power supplies out there that was sold with maybe thousands na siguro yung nabenta nila. And yet, until now, they are still retaining that branding that those are legit original. Sa computer industry, bibihira ginagamit yung ganun. Legit, original, genuine, or what? Now let's go further details about that and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Talking about power supply, it is really a bit complex. Especially even with the very technical review. You need a lot of uh, tools, equipments to uh, prove that the certification or that power supply is really certified. But of course, the easiest way to do that is to check the certification website or the tier list. Ang kadalasang nililink sa atin tier list. Okay, here is a tier list of Linus Tech Tips. This is the tier list of this uh, tech reviewer or you may check on this link. So what is that link? Now, bago natin puntahan yon. pag-usapan muna natin yung concern. Ang isa sa mga pinaka-concern recently and very alarming na nito is uh, tatanungin tayo na, Sir, okay ba itong power supply? It's a bronze power supply. Wait, tingnan nyo natin. Tapos pag makikita mo yung brand, parang never heard. Or, teka lang, yung brand yata na to dati, parang nagbebenta na ng mga siraing product or fake products. And then they even go further. And what's worst, power supply pa talaga yung pinasok nila. And ang pinakamasaklap dun, they even added a certification. 80 plus certification. Or bronze pa yung nilagay. Grabe naman. Parang hindi na to ano eh, hindi na to yung typical na tulad dati na they just call it true rated or for high end. Talagang meron ng certification pa. So, nagulat ako nung nakita ko yung uh, product. So, pag silip ko dun sa product, wait what? 450 watts yan? Tapos 300 watts yung 12 volts? Sabi ko parang may problema yata. So, pagdating kasi sa mga 450 watts sa power supply, pag bronze na yan, dapat nasa 400 plus yan eh, yung 12 volts rate. So sabi ko, this is already a joke. Actually, nung pagtahin ko pala doon sa brand, joke na talaga yun. Parang nagbibiru yata. Wala pa akong alam na local brand that they have this certification na sa clear result. So here is the website, clear result. Dito nyo po iti-check kung eto bang brand na to is certified na talaga na 80 plus or talagang 450 watts na power supply na siya. And dito nga, nung tininan natin, wala. As we expected, wala talaga. So, parang back then, a year ago or two years ago, siguro may makaka-discover din yan. Sila na lang bahalang maglabas. I don't have time to talk about it. Pero 2022 na, sabi ko, hala, marami pa rin palang ano, na luloko nitong power supply na to. Tapos marami pa rin nagtatanong. So sabi ko, bakit wala bang review niya na lumabas na sumasabog na yan? Kasi maybe there are reviews that talking about that power supply na tumagal sa akin ng one year. Pero siguro yung pinanglagyan mo is just a uh, component na hindi naman niya kailangan ng more than 200 watts or 300 watts. Might be tumagal sa'yo. Pero there are a lot of reviews or a lot of discussions talking about it na hindi tumagal ng 6 to 7 months. Bakit kamo? They are aware na pag nilagay mo yung 450 watts na 80 plus bronze sa isang uh, unit and uh, naka Ryzen 3 yan with the GTX 1650 or in-upgrade mo pa ng uh, RX 6400, kayang-kaya pa rin niya. Might be kayang-kaya nung isa din nitong uh, fake. Pero continuous na ganun yung load niya, bibigay at bibigay yan. Kaya may mga cases nga na 
Sir, pwede ba akong mag-upgrade? Ito yung power supply ko. Need mo magpalit ng power supply. Kasi hindi talaga yan 450 watts bronze. And to check this, as I have mentioned earlier, you need to go to clear result. Kung meron kayong nakitang brand at uh, hindi kayo familiar or parang bago lang sa market or wala kayong kaibigan na makakapag-vouch if that is really good, you check the clear result. Nandyan po lahat ng listahan ng power supply. Even those new players here in the Philippines, like first player, o, diba? medyo parang tunog bago siya. Pero pag tinignan mo sa clear result, naku, 2012 pala, nakaregister na to. So, ibig sabihin, sa Pilipinas, bago lang siya. Pero sa international or sa world market, matagal na rin siyang power supply and it's certified. Like, for example, brands like, uh, ano ba yung mga sikat sa ibang bansa na hindi masyadong matunog dito? Rosewheel. Diba? Enormax, yan. Fantex, Silverstone, baka hindi pa matunog sa inyo itong mga brands na to. Fractal Design. That's why I choose some power supplies that are might be, hindi nyo pa masyadong naririnig. Ay, al alam ko naririnig nyo ito lagi, FSP. Pero itong Silverstone, Fantex, Fractal Design, baka hindi kayo aware, they have also power supplies. And you may check the clear result and their brand is there. Pero when you check this X brand here in the Philippines, ayaw ko na lang munang mag-mention ng brand, ha? Marami kasi sila, eh. So, parang, alam mo yon it's just that, uh, kung iisa-isahin natin, medyo hindi ko na rin mabilang, eh. So, bakit ko to sinasabi? Aside from ma madami nagtatanong sa akin about this, another uh, reason kasi is yung mga cases din narinig natin na na dead yung power supply, yet nasira rin yung SSD, nasira rin yung ibang components. Pangalawa kasi sa pangit dito sa mga ganitong klase na ano, hindi talaga certified is wala rin silang protection features. Alam nyo ba na ang mga power supply may mga protection features din yan? Na bago sumabog yung power supply kung sasabog sana or aapoy sana or may masisira sana ng ibang components, eh may matitrigger mo ng protection like OVP or over voltage, over current. Pero to simplify that, ang ibig sabihin lang nun is to protect yung mga components inside na if filter na ng power supply yung chances na pwede pang masunog yung mga ibang components. Na pwede pang masira yung SSD nyo, yung RAM nyo, or yung video card nyo. At worst, di ba? Kasi pag once na nasunog yung mga yan, hindi na yan cover ng warranty. Especially kung may physical trace na nakitang yung mismong component na sunog siya. Hindi yan cover ng warranty just to inform you. Pag nasunog siya, na wala namang makikitang physical damage, pwede yung lumusot yan sa warranty. Pero kung makikita na yung mismong uh, kapasitor or yung mismong PCIe uh, port ng video card, talagang sunog, nag-melt, most likely hindi na yung cover ng warranty. That is under the misuse condition ng uh, warranty terms natin. And by chance, hindi na yan papalitan. Pwede yung i-defend, pwede yung uh, ilaban, like, ito naman yung ginamit kong component. I use the silver stone. Pwedeng uh, ganun, ilaban natin. Most likely, makakalusot siya. Pero kung malalaman nila na ang ginamit mo is itong brand na to, tapos titinan nila sa clear result, wala siya. Hindi siya certified na power supply. Ilalagay ka agad ni brand na ASOS Gigabyte MSI na bakit kasi iyan ang ginamit mo. And based on our records, hindi siya certified na power supply. So, hindi sira yung component namin. Ang problema dyan yung power supply mo. Because you use a power supply that is not certified. Kasi pwedeng ilaban talaga, sa totoo lang, pag nasunog yung isang video card, tapos ang pinakita mong ginamit mo is DA850. Etong ginamit ko, certified to. How come na nasira yan? Diba? How come na nasunog yung video card? E kakabili ko lang yung video card na yan. So, wala sila magagawa. Kailangan yung pumunta sa point ng settlement na mag-uusap talaga kayo ni brand. At uh, most likely, kakover nila yung warrant. Yun lang, yung mga gusto kong sabihin sa inyo at iparating sa inyo. That you need to be aware of what power supply you are buying. Especially nowadays. Unang-una, mawawala ang pensum. I-discontinue ni Intel ang pensum at saka Celeron. So, most likely, ang mga lalabas ng mga components sa ating market are this, uh, kumbaga, may mga upgrade path na i3. i3 could be upgraded with a decent video card in the future. Like, if you have an i3 12100 uh, processor, ang office lang siya, then in the future, lalagyan mo siya ng video card na RTX 3050, it will be okay. It's nice. GTX 1650, it will be okay. Okay siyang uh, setup. May upgrade path siya eh. Pensum kasi and Celeron, they have upgrade path, pero very limited lang. Low-powered system units lang. i3 could have a bit more ano, power-demanding uh, components pag talagang i-maximize talaga yung i3. And what I'm afraid of is baka makabili kayo na iniakala nyo nag-invest kayo sa isang power supply that is worth 1,000. 
Tapos iniisip nyo, ah, bronze naman yung nabili ko eh. So, sabi kasi dito, itong video card na ito, ang requirement lang naman nyo is 450 watts bronze. Sinalpak mo ngayon, patay, sa boom. That is the reason kung bakit ko sinasabi na mag-ingat tayo. Kasi, mura na lang din ang power supply ngayon ng mga ano eh, branded eh. Like, we can have a power supply that's 450 watts na 80 plus from Thermalty, Silverstone, di ba? Mga 500 watts na nila, nasa 2,000 na lang din. Eh. Parang konti na lang yung idadagdag mo. Unlike dati, that if you will go for 80 plus power supplies, kumbaga kailangan nasa around 3,000 plus yung budget mo. Ganon. Ngayon, marami ng options. So, hindi na natin kailangan, ano, kumbaga, isipin pa na, hindi, mahal kasi eh. Wala na akong ibang choice eh. Marami na tayong options ngayon ng mura. And, even those power supplies that have a better 12 volts sa output, like for example, eto nga si 80 plus bronze na brand na nagki-claim na 450 watts siya e 380 yung DE 500 yata ni Deep Cool mas mataas pa yata eh nasa 400 yon though hindi nga lang nila certified na 80 plus certified yung power supply pero at least they didn't claim something so dapat yun yung gayahin nito mga brands ato it's okay naman eh Actually, kung kampante sila na okay yung quality ng product nila, huwag na nilang lagyan ng 80 plus power supply kasi hindi pa siya certified. Unang-una, hindi siya certified. Tapos pangalawa, hindi pasok sa certification ng bronze. Yung nakalagay sa specs na, buti nga hindi nila pineke yun. <laughs> Sabi ko, naku, nakakatakot, baka mamaya sasabihin nila, uy, eight, uh, bronze na to. Tapos pepekehin na rin nila yung specs. Pero sana huwag, huwag umabot sa ganung point. Sa bagay, meron yung namang website na clear result. Doon pa rin natin makikita kung talagang ito is legit or hindi. So, I will link that sa ating description. Pero, ayun niya. Dapat sana, clean na lang nila na this is just a generic power supply. Tapos, kumbaga, high quality generic. Yun na lang ang gamitin nila. Huwag nang umabot sa 80 plus at saka, ano, bronze. Kasi may certification yan eh. Meron talagang website that will prove if that is certified. It will just hurt the brand. Why not just claim it that it's a good quality power supply? Ganun lang. It's okay to be that way, di ba? At least yung mga bibili, yung mga hindi nag-expect na i-upgrade nila yung unit nila in the future. At least hindi masisira din yung brand. Kasi baka mamaya, pag umabot sa puntong ganun, na magamit nila yung power supply to something that is inaakalan nilang upgradable at maglagay sila ng 3050 or 1660, sumabog, pumutok, may mag-post, maging sensation pa siya. Naging sensation in a negative way. So, di ba? Don't wait for that time to come na yung mismong brand masisira ng dahil lang dun sa ganong case. And that's the worst case na pwedeng mangyari. Unless we just want to have a brand that is fly by night. Okay. So, that's it. I just want to share fair warning sa inyo pagdating sa pagpili ng power supply, especially recently na ang dami ng nagkalat na they are claiming that their power supply is certified and it's really, ano, hindi naman talaga. Alright, so that's it. Check the tier list, check the clear result, and check reviews or your friends' feedback about certain brands or certain uh, models of power supply before you buy it para hindi kayo magsisi sa bandang huli. Kasi alam nyo, pag ang power supply bumigay, pwedeng may madamay. Pag RAM bumigay, RAM lang. Processor, processor lang. Video card, by chance video card lang. Pero pag ang power supply bumigay, pwedeng the entire system unit entire na pinaghirapan nyo, entire na pinaghirapan ng parents nyo, pwede mawala lang sa wala, di ba? Tapos hindi na-cover ng warranty. How sad. Sobrang saklap. Yun lang. That's it guys. And for more fair warning like this and videos, feel free to subscribe.